What is up gamers, M107 here, welcome back to the channel and there are numbers of ways to effectively play anti-vehicle in Battlefield 2042, especially if you're playing with squad mates that communicate with you and know what they're doing. But going solo against enemy vehicles might not be the best idea because it takes more time for you to be able to deal a noteworthy damage and the same goes for the enemy vehicle, it's got more time to react to you. In that case, you need to be able to deal the maximum damage as quickly as possible and for that matter, there is a specific loadout right now in Battlefield 2042 that you don't see a lot of people using it regardless of being pretty much straightforward and easy to use. We'll be discussing this in a second but I want you to hit the like button if the video was helpful and probably consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this, it will really help the channel to grow. So back to loadout, let's start with RPG. Now the reason I've chosen RPG over M5 is simply because we want maximum damage in minimum time, right? And that's something that the RPG will provide since it deals more damage to any armored vehicle in game. Obviously the damage output depends on the vehicle itself and the part that you hit, but generally speaking, in most of the scenarios, RPG deals more damage. Of course you can be more versatile and choose the M5, maybe you want to be able to hit longer ranges as well, but this loadout works best when engaging vehicles in relatively close ranges. Next thing you want to have is the anti-tank grenade, which is why I call this loadout a close range beast. Now if you haven't played the anti-tank grenade before, let me just quickly explain to you how this thing works. Think of a grenade that detonates on impact and actually deals a decent amount of damage to armored vehicles. You're going to have to try and hit the enemy vehicles directly with the grenade and it's going to deal somewhere between 14 to 20 damage depending on the targeted vehicle. That is a serious amount of damage in a quick throw of a grenade. There was a glitch where the anti-tank grenade wouldn't go boom on impact a few months ago which has been fixed for a while and it works fine in almost any given situation now. Moving on to the last but not least part of our anti-vehicle loadout and we've got armor piercing underbarrel grenade launcher. So we're not talking about just any kind of underbarrel grenade launcher and because of that a lot of the assault rifles go out of the equation. Actually only two assault rifles have this attachment right now in Battlefield 2042. One of them is SCAR which has a grenade launcher by default and that can be replaced with a grip or anything else but you can choose the type of ammo you want to use and one of those options is armor piercing. The other weapon is AK-24 which also has the armor piercing ammo. This last part is the game changer when it comes to how effective this loadout is. You've got three armor piercing grenades that can also be refilled with an ammo crate and each one of them deals about 17 to 21 damage based on where you hit and what vehicle you're hitting. This thing is actually way more effective than the anti-tank grenade. Not only is faster and deals more damage but you've got three of them. There is even one more thing that makes these underbarrel grenade launchers deadly. Because these grenades are actually being shot, they fly at a reasonably high speed and they do a ridiculous amount of damage to air vehicles. So every time a helicopter or a condor gets close enough or stands still, you can give it a taste of that as well. If I was a vehicle player and noticed someone going against me capable of dealing all that damage, honestly I would feel scared. You can see in the footage how scary this is and all it takes is less than 8 seconds if you get used to it. You go for the RPG first, then the anti-tank grenade and finally the grenade launcher. If you notice that someone else is hitting the vehicle as well and now it needs less damage to be destroyed, just don't bother reloading the RPG and go for the grenade launcher because the reload process takes way less time and you're not going to miss those sweet kills, right? That was like a small trick for you not to have your kills stolen by a kid with M5 from 300 meters, so enjoy that as well. And that's about it, the strongest you can be playing solo against vehicles. Give this loadout a try if you haven't already and let me know whether you like it or not. By the way, it's not the end of the video and there is more gameplay with the loadout, so go ahead and enjoy that. Until next time, stay cool. Uh-oh. I think I just ran away. Ah, oh, I think I destroyed the guy anyway. <laughs> There he is. That was another one. What the hell? How am I still alive, man? How are these people not killing me? Oh, there was someone else. Oh, 
position. See the damage? Oh, he got so lucky. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got him. Yep. Uh oh, what the hell is this dude doing here? Ah, got him. That was four kills with the anti-tank grenade. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> they are moving on Bravo Street. What the hell was that kill, bro? Me anti-tank grenade now. There he is. I still got the grenade launcher though. Oh, he's running away. Almost got him. Ah! That dude just blocked my grenade. He died, but I just couldn't destroy the dude. Yeah, I got that dude as well. I got no RPGs, but... Where the hell did he go? Hold on. Got you, bro. That's it.